Hi, my name is Iris Coral. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. And you're in for a treat. I finally had some time to go through my videos and photos from my trip to the Salamander Resort and Spa. And I want to show you a few of the videos and photos from my trip. Salamander Resort and Spa has an equestrian center that sits on 25 acres of which 14,000 square feet are for stables and there are 22 stalls. A few of the activities are trail rides, private riding lessons, horse grooming, and horse whispering. All of the activities have to be booked in advance and they can be by the hour. As my sister and I were walking the grounds of the Salamander Resort and Spa, we learned that the equestrian stables were open that particular day. And I always liked horses, especially Palomino horses. So we continued walking and we found our way. And upon entry, and there were a lot of horses uh, that were out galloping around and uh, they were eating hay and drinking water from the troughs and everything. And uh, we were able to go inside and we learned they had all of the rules and everything on the tables as soon as you went into the facility. And uh, we had to read the visitor rules first before we could do anything. The first rule was to keep your mask on at all times, no feeding the horses, and you could pet the horses. And you could not go in any other, excuse me, you could not go in any other areas except in the uh, one area that was open for that particular day. We're in the stables and we came to visit the equestrian center. And it said that the horses with their noses out, that we can pat the horse, the horse on the nose. <laughs> so we walked in and we did see uh, a few of the horses, because some of the horses had their heads out of their stalls. So as we walked in, uh, we the first horse that we saw was uh, a cream-colored horse. It was a very large horse, and that particular horse's name was Otis. And he seemed friendly enough. He let you pet him on the nose and everything. But one thing he started doing was turning his nose towards my purse. And uh, I, I couldn't figure out. I started moving away and everything. But then I remembered I had a Larabar in my purse, so I guess he had smelled it. There were other horses in there, but about four of the horses, under their names, it had that they bite. So we just walked on through and uh, went to another side. We walked around to another side of the building, and we noticed a small miniature horse and a handler. And the miniature horse is the star of the stables. And that star's name is Cupcake. She's a miniature horse, and I forget how old she was. And the handler was connecting that particular miniature horse to a carriage because she was getting ready to go into the town of Middleburg to uh, advertise. She says she does that at least two to three times a week. And her little dog, which she says is some kind of pugapoo or something, his name was Gizmo, and he was, and a lady told us that it was Cupcake's best friend forever. She does a lot of advertising for the Salamander Resort. The handler, she did talk to us and responded and everything. But being such a big star, usually Cupcake, you can only set up an appointment with Cupcake and there is definitely a fee for Cupcake's services and for her to show up. And uh, did we pet Cupcake? No. <laughs> no way. Uh, Cupcake has a fee attached to Cupcake. But anyways, it was good to see it. I think kids would love to see Cupcake and some adults too. Uh, did we have a, a good time there at the stables? Well, I thought it was very very interesting experience uh, to really see horses up close and personal that you can actually touch them because sometimes policemen may or may not let you touch or pat the horse. Uh, so it was a good experience. 
kids would just have such a ball, especially with that cupcake. Please like, subscribe, share, and press the notification bell. Until next time.